We got Basica here, September 6th. Uh, just want to recap the last couple of days, or at least today, uh, 2022. You can just see a little bit about um, my face. It's um, it has a uh, poison on it, and then it's um, it's pretty beat up. Uh, you can't really tell too much from the video, but you could see I look uh, pretty beat up right now. Um. This is from constant uh, poison throwing on me from my parents and from outside employees and customers. Uh, last night, I uh, wasn't feeling well, so I got up really early, went to the store, went to Ralph's in San Pedro. They um, drugged and poisoned the whole store for me and specifically made certain things that they knew that I would buy, that what I would pick up. Uh, in order for me to get uh, sick and hurt from it. Uh, they um, they seal things shut so I can't open them sometimes too. Or they make it really hard to open. And then, um, and then they just uh, poison and drug everything. And then they throw it on me as I walk throughout the store. So all of the employees end up throwing it on me. And then when I go to self-checkout, there's poison on the uh, counter the scanner, once I put my money in and I get my money out, the touch screen, really everything, and the shopping cart, and all the bags. And then, um, so I came home, ate the stuff. I waited for my parents to wake up till later. Mom wanted me to go to urgent care, and she says I'm dying, which I am. And I um, told her I needed to go to the store again because I was hungry. And uh, she wouldn't let me, so I just left. And then they uh, poisoned the outside before I went to urgent care. And then people were throwing it all throughout the freeway through the windows on me the whole time. And then, um, and then when I got into EXER, e -X -E -R, urgent care in Manhattan Beach... Um, uh, they, uh, it, the whole room was gassed with a poison. And then, uh, one of the guys walked out and threw it at me when I was standing there. And then they said that they refused to, uh, do any poison testing on me. And they kept telling me I had to go to the ER because they want to lock me up in a psych ward. So they were waiting for me before I got there, of course. So I was prepared for that. And then, uh, and then, um, you know, the whole car was poisoned and then I ended up going to Gelson's market in Manhattan beach and they, uh, were very sneaky and, uh, poisoned the whole store for me again too, because they knew I was going to Manhattan today earlier in the morning. So they had a couple hours to prepare. So it would be like, uh, like, I bought salmon that was poisoned. I bought a couple other package things that were poisoned. Um, some drinks, some other stuff. Uh, I think it was a drug. I, I think it was like a drug or a poison. And then um, they had it on their hands and on the bags. Um, and then they had it on the, the, the shopping area. The, the cur curveiller, the belt that goes, you know, that you put your groceries on, whatever you call that. And then uh, I go in the car and I eat and I come back home and the whole house was poisoned again. Mom then decided to uh, poison the inside of the, um, of the toaster oven that you warm your food up with. So she just, I think she's done that before, but she did it again today. And then she left uh, poisoned potatoes on top of the, on top of the oven on purpose. And then she was throwing poison on me uh, the whole time I was in the kitchen uh, when I would like go go to the sink or look away. And then I was I was I like I kept telling her to stop, and she wouldn't. And then um, and then I I sat there and. Uh, she went to her cell phone and then she threw poison at me at the exact same time that my dad did. So I got it from both angles. 
And so I tried to go downstairs and clean up as much as I could. And then, um, and then I got out of the bathroom and they knew I was going to go in the hallway and they poisoned, they, uh, gassed the hallway and then they, uh, threw poison on me and were prepared to do that, uh, with, uh, stuff from upstairs. So I went to my room and I was exhausted and I took a nap and then I woke up and I had gunk all over me again. And I don't know if someone broke in or not. Um, could have been, uh, you know, demonic attacks. I'm not, I'm not really sure. So I ended up going to the bathroom. I thought I had at least, uh, like, like an hour in there because they were watching TV. Dad comes downstairs, uh, bombs me through the bathroom. Uh, uh, mom comes downstairs right to throw poison on me right when I'm walking out. And she did that on fucking purpose. And, uh, and I, um, escaped pretty quickly. And then I go to my door to lock my door up to bolt it. And dad bombs me through the door, uh, a few times on purpose. Um, and I, I can't even get like, uh. I can't even clean up or do anything or, you know, uh, if I went in the shower or something like that, they would, they would come in and attack me. Um, I get like, uh, 20 or 30 minutes maybe, uh, to clean up throughout the day. Maybe if I have a chance to leave before I get beat up, mom poisoned the toilet, she poisoned the, uh, the counters and, um, and then I called her today and I told her to stop fucking doing it. And uh, she just kind of laughed at me and was like, oh, whatever. No big deal. I didn't do anything to you. And then hung up the phone. So it's like, it's like uh, never ending. I mean, okay, so if I'm making it up, let's let's take a look at what my face looks like right now. You could see that that is not normal. And that's dried up. And you can see there's, um, I have like, uh, you know, there's, I have like, it's like red everywhere and it's, um, it's, it's stuck in certain places and you can tell that it's, um, it's not normal to, uh, to have something like this. So uh, I don't know how much more proof you can get except for you can you can visually see already that it's there um uh my number once again it's going to get blocked but if you want to do uh, a chat through video uh hopefully someone contacts me again it's 3109358797 310-935-8797.